So I have been observing our caterpillar this morning and thought I'd share the action. This guy is about to chrysalis. You could see him there. But this one is exploring the other chrysalis and I wanna make sure he doesn't eat them. And I don't think he's trying to take a bite, but I'm a little concerned that I'm gonna to have to knock him out. This is caterpillar number four exploring that chrysalis. Caterpillar number three right here, I'm very happy that he got off the zipper of this section instead of it's hanging there. They are really close to each other, but when we see the chrysalis room at Peggy Norderbart Nature Museum, um, very often the chrysalises are about a half inch apart, an inch apart, and I think depending where he ends up, if we need to move them, we can. Um, you snip the top of this and then pin it to a different area. But obviously I'd rather not do that, so. Wow, he is really, he's just hanging on there in the back a little bit. Let's see if we could get a better view. Yeah, you can see they're wiggling a little when I unzip it. Trust me, they're attached. They're not going anywhere. They're not gonna fall. That white netting material they use is strong. Uh, I don't know if it's as strong as silk, but it's pretty darn strong. Look at that. What is he doing? Leave your buddy alone. <laughs> Let him grow. He's just really sniffing that chrysalis. just bop down like he's fighting it. Sometimes the caterpillars fight and they do that bopping motion with their heads. He's bopping it with his head. That's him. I don't want him to chrysalis right there. That's too close to everybody. What can you do though? Animal instinct. I'm not gonna fight him on what he thinks he should be doing. There he is. Hey there. So you could see this J shape that this caterpillar is taking. Oh, that's a lot of wiggling. Um, they take that J shape and then their caterpillar skin pops off and the chrysalis is underneath. So he will be popping off skin soon. I will still have a caterpillar in here to feed. There's this guy right here. I still am not sure if that's gonna grow into a woolly moth caterpillar. His dill is dying, so he'll probably get some fresh dill today. Yeah, folks, we're in trouble. This guy, I think, is gonna wanna warm his netting right there, right next to the others. He sniffed it out. So these are the chrysalis and caterpillars from those f several eggs we brought in. We ended up having four eggs, and here they are going to term. I'm so excited. All right, now he's going to hang out, I bet, for a little bit. That's what they do. They just end up hanging out. We will tune in later if there's any more news. I'm ready for this guy to bust out of his, his caterpillar skin. You could see a seam forming right there on the back of his, see that line going up and down? Where is the line? There it is. There's a line going up and down right there. And I think that's where he's gonna bust out. All right, we'll see what happens. Happy Sunday.